Hey guys, quick video. Uh, I wanted to show you guys how we build our blinds uh, at the farm that we now own. Um, the reason we build our blinds like this is because 10, 15, 20 years ago, we leased land. And so um, the easiest way for us to get boxes in and out, because where we hunt is not just level flat land, hills and haulers. So the easiest way for us to get them out was to bring them in in pieces build them by separate walls. So basically I build a floor, four walls, obviously three windows usually and a door, then I'll build a roof. Um, I basically rip treated stuff. Um, I don't wanna have to do it again. I do spend a little more on my blinds, but I spend way less than what you're gonna buy a blind online for. And my blind's gonna last longer because I'm gonna uh, have the stuff needed on it to, um, you know, it's not gonna, warp or fiberglass ain't going to break. You know, it's made out of pretty stu sturdy wood. Um, this is a new one we're doing. Um, there's blinds on my property that I own now that I have actually moved four different times and they still are intact and we hunt out of them. So if you're looking for something portable, to me, this is the easiest way to do it, especially if you lease land and you may or may not lose a lease. Um, so I rip my two buys. So I use one buy stuff. Um, you actually can buy the one by stuff at Lowe's sometimes, but uh, it's just cheaper. And I have a table saw, so I rip it. Used to, all I would put on the outside is this black FRP. It's basically this, like a very thin vinyl sheeting, and it does fine. I had no problem with that. I've had blinds that last. Matter of fact, I've got one of our favorite blinds on the property, um, I've had it for probably 12 years and it's made out of this stuff and it doesn't have any OSB under it. But I did decide to use OSB on this one uh, for a couple of reasons. One is I'm using a new window system, so I wanted something a little more sturdy on the outside. Uh, plus I think it does help quieten the blind a little bit. So basically I build a floor, whatever width you know you want it. I do frame it heavy, um, usually use three quarter inch treated. I use two by fours on the floor. Uh, and then the walls, basically, you can see when I build them, I actually, all I put is one, two, three screws in the bottom. And then I'll probably put, I've got one just tacking it right now, but I'll probably put three, three screws into each side. And once you get these four walls up and get them all tied in, my roof's made to where after we get the third wall up, we actually set the roof up on top and out of the way. And then we go ahead and put the door wall on. And then I slide the roof in place. And usually I make my roofs where easiest way I found to do it, because I have a overhang on my roof anyway. I make it where I have two by fours on top of this one by, and I can screw from underneath and suck the roof down. Um, and then I have a natural lean built into the actual roof itself. So. That's the easiest way I have found to do it. I don't have to do any outside screwing. Um, I do come back at the end. The only thing I do on the outside, I do all my caulking, um, you know, before I ever hang it. But I do bend me some small metal pieces just on the corners. And I go ahead and screw them on just to give me that extra protection on the corners. But anyway, so you got a wall, you got a floor framed out, four walls and a roof. Um, we load them in put them in the bucket of a tractor piece by piece, and uh, that's how we put them up. So if you do it this way, make sure when you're doing your floor and your walls um, that you square them, because once you get them good and square, they fit really well together once you tack them together. Uh, if you get one that's a little off square, it makes it difficult. So anyway, just wanted you guys to see that, and then I'm doing a, de a separate video on these Shadow Hunter Blind kits that I'm using. Um, I think I'm going to really like it. First time I've ever used them, but um, I wanted something that could keep frost off of the glass when I'm not in the blind and keep me blacked out when I get in the blind. And then I can drop those black pieces on the outside. Those pieces slide down out of the way. Um, and then you can keep the plexiglass up. And basically, you can gently slide it down if you want to open the glass. So... They seem to be a, a good sturdy kit. Um, it's the first time I've used them, so I think I'm gonna like them also. Uh, but anyway, if you have any suggestions, I've been doing these for 20 years and hadn't had one go bad yet. Now I have had the wind 
Uh, I do anchor them better than I used to. I uh, have had, you know, a tornado wind where I live in Alabama, so it's not like it was just a 15 mile an hour breeze, but that's how we do them. Hope it helps somebody.